hallelujah welcome to the firebrand daily devotional today today is tuesday may 24 2022 the firebrand daily devotional is a daily devotional from the office of our senior pastor dr pastor halidu abraham of the revival house church with headquarters in lokoja Kogi state nigeria like i said today is tuesday may 24 2022 and the topic this morning is the old king must die Exodus chapter 14 verse 27 and Moses stretched forth his hands over the sea and the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared and the Egyptians fled against it and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Verse 28 says and the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the hosts of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them they remained not so much as one of them. Verse 30, Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the sea shore. Hallelujah. Senior pastor says, In our society and many parts of the world, kings are still relevant, and in some cases they still rule their people. So long as a king is alive, no matter how old or sickly he may be, he still remains a king. A new king cannot be coronated until the old king dies. For 430 years, King Pharaoh was the visible king of the Jews in Egypt. For these long years of captivity, they had forgotten how to worship and how to serve Jehovah and perfected how to serve Pharaoh. It took the almighty power of God to bring Israel out of Egypt. But until Pharaoh was dead, the Israelites were not free. Because King Pharaoh was still alive, they were feeling as runaway servants of King Pharaoh. You are not free until whom or what controls you is dead. So, their deliverance cannot be complete until Pharaoh dies. The death of King Pharaoh in the Red Sea was significant for the following reasons. The death of Pharaoh was the surest sign of their deliverance. The death of Pharaoh was the beginning of their move to the Promised Land. The death of Pharaoh was the beginning of the reign of God in their lives. Can you please answer this question? Who is controlling you? Who is your king? If the answer to this question is not God, then like Moses, right now, stretch forth your hands in prayers and command that Pharaoh to die out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Learn to conquer your adversary with permanent solutions. Receive your deliverance, move to your destiny, and let God reign in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. What's our meditation point this morning? It took the almighty power of God to bring Israel out of Egypt. But until Pharaoh was dead, the Israelites were not totally free. Because King Pharaoh was still alive, you are not totally free until whom or whatever controls you is dead. And I pray this morning that they die in the name of Jesus. Whatever is controlling you that is not of God, I pray this morning that they die in the name of Jesus. Prayer point. Say, Lord Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, let every Pharaoh of my life be dethroned right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let me see my desire upon my enemies reign in my life in the name of Jesus. Sovereign Lord, I ask that you reign in my life in the name of Jesus. The presence of light is the absence of darkness. Light and darkness can never have a convenient meeting. The presence of one is the absence of the other. Let Jesus reign. Let God reign and let Pharaoh die out of your life from today forward in the mighty name of Jesus. As you pray these prayers, we want to also join you to pray. You can put your prayer points at the comment section. We will join you to pray and every darkness in your life, life disappears in the presence of light in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. I'll see you again tomorrow at the same time for the Firebrand Daily Devotional.